Hey everyone, Keith Lock here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, we're going to walk through um, setting up and using PayPal for digital goods, which is a pay, which is a WordPress plugin that allows you to easily and quickly sell digital goods um, through your website using PayPal as the payment processor. Now, it's it's a very simple process. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is prep our PayPal account. Um, essentially, what we're going to do is get an API, the API signature credentials and so that we can um, use them within the plugin to configure the plugin for use so let's do that first I'm going to log into my PayPal account here and once you're logged in you may need to click the my account tab um, and then click profile otherwise you can just click the profile login profile icon at the top okay so I'm going to click on profile click on profile and settings on the left side choose my selling tools and under in the selling online section at the top you'll see API access just click on update And then on the, the right side, option two, this gray box here, click on request API credentials. And we're going to leave the default here because we're looking for API signature credentials. So click on agree and submit. And then it'll create the API username, password, and signature for you. And then you just need to click on show for each one of these and then copy that information um, to a text file. That way we have it available for the plugin to use so and that's really all there is to setting up the, on the PayPal end of things so now let's head over to so uh, wordpress.org PayPal for digital goods plugin I already downloaded it to my computer it's on my desktop and actually this is the item I'm gonna during the demonstration I'm gonna actually make this item for sale like as an example a digital item so We'll do that. So let's head over to the blog. I'm just going to add this plugin here. I'm going to add new upload plugin. I'm going to find it on my desktop. Install now. Don't worry about that message I just popped up. That's specific to my the host that I'm with. Okay, click on activate plugin and then choose the settings option here. But there's also settings PayPal for digital goods same thing so you can just click on settings from here all right the checkout page was created for you we don't have to modify that at all um, that's already been set up automatically here's where we would specify a currency code this will be the default text for for the buy now buttons and this box here when checked it's going to be in live mode so it's going to be real live um, transactions otherwise you can leave it unchecked to, to keep it in sandbox mode and then here's where you would put the uh, the API credentials that were created um, during this step here um, when we were within PayPal so you just have to paste that information over so I'm going to take care of that right now I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back all right so everything is set up there now we'll um, now we're going to demonstrate to create a page or a post essentially the same thing and you can even um, use this you can do this within uh, widgets as well all right so I'm going to click on pages add new and So you can describe your product right here, whatever you want for the description. And then we're going to use a short code um, below that to, to create the button. I'm just going to publish this page here first. And over here, there's the short code here that we're going to use. And you can use the use it as a template and then what I'm going to do is just modify the details of it so um, we call this whatever we want 
set the price. And remember, the currency will automatically be used as US because that's what we have in the settings section here. And same with the button text. We don't have to specify that because we have a default that was set up here. But if we want to um, change that to be something else, we can modify that in here with that program, with that um, argument. So, all right. So then now we specify the URL of the actual product. So for that, what I'm going to do is just upload the product to the media library in WordPress. I'm just going to click on Add New. I'm going to open this link in a new window. Select Files. And again, I'm just going to use this as an example. It's a silly example in this case, but since that's a free plugin, but I'm going to just use it for example purposes. Okay. And then. Click on the edit link, and then you can get the actual URL right here. So I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. This URL will be hidden to users. It's just a way so the plugin, I mean, yeah, so the software knows how to deliver the file and knows where it's located for delivery. So I'm just going to click on update here. View the page in a browser. And there we go. So there we have the option here to um, to buy now. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to open up in the light box. And then we were presented with the, um, the login form for, for PayPal. And you can see the price is up there. So everything gets passed to PayPal. And then once you're logged in, make the purchase, the transaction takes place. And then um, this then the the item gets delivered um, digitally to the user automatically um, so there's no manual attachments or anything like that that needs to take place everything happens all securely and digitally and sort of within the flow the workflow uh, of the user without really having to leave the website or anything like that it's just this pop-up window that that appears once that closes the delivery takes place all right that's really all there is to setting it up so that you have the ability to sell digital items on your website. Alright, again, this is Keith Locke, Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching.